What's up guys, my name is Matt Workman for Cinematography Database and we are at Chapman Leonard and we are going to be looking at the Miniscope 7 today. So this is kind of a unique jib and it's a telescopic jib so the actual arm can change length and we'll be looking at in a second. It's a little bit smaller than a lot of their bigger cranes and I think that's pretty exciting because cameras are getting smaller like the Alexa Mini and the RED cameras. So everything's just getting a little bit smaller but keeping the same quality as the bigger hydroscopes that Chapman makes. So the first thing that this jib does is like any jib is you can swing it back and forth. And then can we show you just doing uh, just tilts or just booming up and down? Right, so this is bringing the, the camera height higher and lower. So the difference between this mini scope here is that it's a telescopic jib, so he can actually change the length of it dynamically while he's shooting. So there it goes out. The mini scope 7 has a travel length of 7 feet. So this device here is lovingly called the pickle, and this is what's controlling the arm length. So what we're using today at the end of the Miniscope 7 is a remote head made by Chapman, and this is the CL Mini. So it's a, as you can imagine by the name, a smaller version of their bigger CL head. And if you've never used a remote head, it's a little bit like a video game. That's how I like to think about it. And it's not scary at all. It's really like a video game. You actually control the head here with these wheels. We have it set up in traditional geared head mode here. So where this left wheel here, as I spin it this way, will pan the camera. So this is only panning it. And this is really nice about remote heads is you get discrete control of each axis separately. So it's a little bit different if used to a fluid head where you can kind of just do whatever you want. You do have to work on being able to pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. This is that same sort of concept. But in the end, what it does give you is control when you actually learn how to do this really well. Again, this right wheel here is tilt and this is pan. So you start to learn how to do both of these together to get different moves. And what it obviously allows you to do is have this crane and camera be way out. And especially if it's on a much bigger crane, I can still control it right here. I don't have to be at the end of the crane. I can just look at the monitor and control everything. So we're gonna do a couple moves here today and uh, should be fun. Cool, so the first moves we're gonna look at are called tracking shots. Um, it's a little bit different than a dolly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by just swinging the arm back and forth like this. So it's kind of like a dolly shot with a kind of an arc. And I'm gonna to try to keep her in the center of the frame. And I consider those tracking shots. And then we're gonna also go up and down. And that's gonna, I'm gonna have the tilt to keep her in. And my whole job as the head operator is to keep her in the center of the frame. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with the camera overhead like this, and then we're gonna have it come down to catch a portrait of her like that. I call it a diving board shot, where you start overhead and then come down, and we have to really work on our timing together. We have to start at the same time and end at the same time. So this is a challenging one, but should be fun.
cool guys so that wraps it up for this video i hope you enjoyed your look at the mini scope 7 and the mini cl remote head if you like the video give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys on the next one uh. <laughs> yeah we did it